So the add a banana thing is a question of probability. If I say, write a blog post about B2B marketing, right? There's there's a bunch of words that are probable in that. You're going to have things like account-based marketing. You're going to have things like key accounts and target accounts. You have all these terms that are highly probable that when a language model goes to create a blog post about B2B marketing, it's going to invoke those as the highest probability concepts. When it comes to interesting content, high probability also means boring because we've seen it all already because mm -hmm. it's high probability. So if you want to mess with the probability generation in these things, you give it non-probable, non-associated words that the language model then has to accommodate. So if I say, write a blog post about B2B marketing and you must use the terms banana, green, and wankel rotary engine, suddenly the model has to go, well, these words have nothing to do with B2B marketing, but the, the, the instruction was they must be present. Therefore, I have to manipulate the text to fit them in. So each of those words has probabilities around it. You have the B2B marketing concept that's probabilities and has to look at the intersection of those probabilities and figure out how do I make this work? That's how you generate creativity with AI by forcing different probability distributions.